Welcome everybody, it's Wednesday. Uh, the theme today, martial arts heroes, get settled in, get comfortable. Uh, I've got two paintings for you today, so stay tuned. Also over here, I need to know where you're tuning in from. Before we start, just drop in the comments. Also, I'm gonna be able to read your comments on this platform uh, during the live session. So I'm about to start painting soon, but get comfortable. We're gonna start very soon. All right, welcome everybody. I'm David Garibaldi. We're about to get into this Art Life Live show. I've got two paintings for you. Uh, let's get settled in, let's paint. My name is David Garibaldi and I paint live. As I paint, let's talk about Art Life Live starts now. Welcome everybody, my name is David Garibaldi and this is Art Life Live. We do this every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I miss traveling the world, I miss getting on airplanes and going and seeing people in person, but if this is what we have to do in the meantime, I'm with it, I'm happy to do this. Uh, do this for me, I would love to shout you, your city, state, country, wherever you are in the world. Just leave a comment below so I can shout you out. Quick hello to Amanda Bradford on Facebook, always checking in with us. Uh, Ian Michael Tabu, giving love about that Juice World video that dropped today for Hate the Other Side. Big thank you to everyone who's showing love on that. Haley Forrest, hello back to you. Haley is in Germany, welcome. Where are you tuning in from? Uh, send love to Andrew Pence on Facebook. Let's shout out some cities, states, and countries. Where are you tuning in from? Indonesia. We've got Indonesia joining us. Florida. Florida. UK, Sacramento. Sacramento, hometown, Israel, Australia, Australia. Austria. Austria, Austria, not Australia. From, cool yeah, so everyone is enjoying the juice world. I have to say, uh, one, the biggest thankfulness to Juice World, rest in peace, for creating such amazing music that has moved the world, that has moved us, inspired us. Uh, big thanks to his team for continuing his legacy with this type of love and a way to honor him. And most important, Juice World fans out there who are uh, embracing all the new music uh, with love. And also, you are the ones who continue the legacy. And uh, we are just a conduit using art to bring these images to life. So uh, back to some shout outs real quick. We're going to start painting. I've got two paintings for you today. You decided the theme today. It's martial arts heroes. So shout out to Glenn's. Glenn and Angela, so Glenn's mom, it's at Glenn's mom, but it's Glenn and Angela. Uh, they're in Sacramento. Tanya from Chile, welcome. Um, I know, so Hitbox is on YouTube and said there's only 17 people watching on YouTube. 
Y'all gotta get the numbers up. But it's all good. We're here. I'm here regardless. Let me tell you this. I'm here to create. If there's one person watching, which is usually my mom, if there's uh, thousands of people watching on TikTok or a handful on Instagram, I, I honestly, I appreciate you taking the time, but I'm gonna create for you if you're tuning in regardless. And I appreciate you being here. So, uh, Teresa, hello. Sending, sending love to the Warehouse Artist Lofts in Sacramento. That's right across the street from my old studio on R Street. So, a lot of love from Sacramento. Thank you guys. Where else are they tuning in from? England, South Dakota, Florida, Chile, Colombia, Bolivia, New Jersey. Uh, real quick, I'm naming these off. Uh, shout out to everyone on TikTok over here. I've got the device over here. It's gonna follow us around. Uh, so TikTok, Instagram, I'm waving to them over there. Thank you for joining us. I'm ready to move though. Uh, shout out to Marquise in Clearwater, uh, BB, MC is in Slovakia. Hola uh, to Mexico. All right, I'm ready to create. Are you guys ready for this? Today's theme is martial arts heroes. I've got two paintings. They're gonna be back to back in this same session. So if I finish one, don't go anywhere. Also some housekeeping, if you're on TikTok or Instagram, go to the link in my bio. You can see what they are seeing over here with some music and different camera angles. All right, Netherlands, shout out to you. Pakistan, shout out to you as well. All right, if you are ready for Art Life Live to start all together, I like to say this all together, let's paint. Oh yes, welcome everybody. So I can now see you and see your comments. So those of you who are always asking, where, why, why am I not reading your comments? Now I'm gonna take some pauses while I'm painting. Come down here and uh, shout out to BBMC. He said, love your work, man. You motivate me. More creativity. More creativity and love to all of you. Let's, let's paint. Woo! This one today. These paintings, actually not even just this one. I'm gonna start with my hands. Let's do that. All right. So today's theme is martial arts heroes. How did I decide this? Why was I inspired? It was actually you. The people who watched this, when we were closing out our last session, everyone you know, was making suggestions on what I should do for the next one. And they were like, you should do martial arts heroes. So I got some suggestions from them. Uh, obviously we can't do all of them, but I think I got some pretty solid, solid choices here. Um, I'm gonna start marking this off. I appreciate you all so much for joining all these Art Life Live sessions. We go live every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I'm gonna do my best to answer your questions, so ask below in the comments. And uh, let's get this going. So someone has a great question. So someone asked, why do I not have lenses in my glasses? Because one, I wear prescription glasses day to day, so this is kind of like a, a comfort blanket makes me feel comfortable also i just like the look kind of the same reason you wear a hat when there's no sun and you're inside so it's a, a fashionable choice okay so shout out to daniel's homegirl romero are they on where are they on tiktok uh, instagram. instagram shout out So Jason and Ryan want to know, do I sell my artwork? Yes, I do. There's a link in my bio that says uh, merch and prints, and also one that has info about original paintings as well. Uh, also leave your guesses below. If you're watching this later, it's probably already in the title on Instagram, so just play along with us. But if you're watching this live, I want to hear your guesses. Uh, I've never done this painting before. This is a new one for me. Most of these Art Life Live sessions are very much, uh, you know, the first time I've ever painted these particular images. So, you know. So someone asked, are the jackets I wear ever for sale? For right now, they're not. I'm holding on to them. I've got quite the collection of clothes and jackets, but 
I'm curious, would you guys buy these clothes that are full of paint if you had the chance to? A uh, big thank you to um, Samuel Rose, uh, who is based in Sacramento. He's created a lot, not these, but he's created a lot of my uh, clothes that I paint in. Actually, he did cut this down, kind of modified that one. All right. Oh, so we've got, we got some guesses coming in right now. I'm feeling like, like these poses of these martial artists, you know, you just can't help but feel alive when you're, when you're creating them and painting them. So someone asked, how do I know where to put the paint? Um, I have different techniques that I use, but also mostly is just understanding the human figure. Uh, I've been drawing all my life, so I've been blessed to have amazing you know, classes and teachers that have helped me do this, but also just the discipline of creating every day as well. Uh, but I would say that also, I don't always put the paint in the right place. <laughs> Ooh, interesting. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna repeat those guesses because I wanna keep it a little interesting, but I've heard some good guesses so far. Uh, so today was a big day. Um, those of you that follow me on different platforms, we released, actually Juice World's team released another official music visualizer on Juice World's channel and it is for the song Hate the Other Side created and directed by uh, my friend Ricky Yi, creative director Nicole Sepulveda helped bring this vision to life. Big thanks to uh, Chadi who was there also and Ray who was there on, on set. What's that? You were my water girl, yes. Chadi was my water girl. Thank you. Best water girl ever. So yeah, everyone who showed love on that, I just gotta say thank you for the love. We've got more to come. As long as you guys are enjoying it, we're gonna keep creating for you. I know you see this come to life. Uh, you know, someone that asked earlier, you know, how do I know where to put the paint? And I can't stress enough that You've got to spend the time to really learn your craft. Uh, it's kind of just like, how does a musician know when or where to put a note or what instrument to play? It's, it's, a, it's an instinct and a feel that is, you know, something that grows over time. So real quick, I'm going to take a, a quick second down here to read the comments. All right, so I'm going to read some comments right now on Facebook, YouTube. Twitch and uh, Periscope before I get back to this. Uh, let's see. So Gadget275 on YouTube asks, do you usually plan out your paintings before you start, like practicing before your performance, and you're from North Carolina? So it depends. This one in particular, I did not practice it. If I'm doing a live show, I try to prep as much as possible, but whatever I do to find first the image, study it, and then do my best to bring it to life. So. Uh, BBMC asks, do you have any pets? If not, what's your dream pet? I have a pet and today is his one year birthday. So shout out to Dolly. Can you guys leave some comments below and say happy birthday, Dolly, D-A-L-I. And all right, I'm gonna get back to these comments in a little bit. Let's paint. So someone asked, what paint do I use? I'm using just interior house paint. This one in particular, they don't pay me to say this, but it's Bear Ultra Premium. I wouldn't mind if they paid me to say this, but uh, it's Bear Ultra Premium paint. What's that? Yes, thank you for the love for Dolly, spelled D-A-L-I. It's his one year birthday today. We're so, so happy. We got him, so he's a rescue. And we got him, what was it, January? She got him in January. And I, f I thought he was gonna be like a calm dog. She, he was not, he was just, he's a crazy animal. All right, 
All right, so who inspired me to start painting? Great question. Let me wash up. I'm gonna bring this actually over here so that I'm closer when I wash up. Um, it's a lot of different people that have inspired me to create, but I would say, you know, my, my high school animation teacher inspired me to paint, not because he was teaching me how to paint, but just the inspiration of doing, you know, whatever I set my mind to. It, he completely changed my life and about how I can use art as a powerful tool. And, uh, you know, he's one of the biggest inspirations in my life that have helped me become who I am today. I would say other people who have inspired me to paint, I mean, I love uh, Andy Warhol, I love uh, Jean-Michel Basquiat. It's all people that I hope that you can go research and Google. So I'm just adding, you know I have some skin tone on here now, I'm just adding some uh, secondary light, some, a blue light source. I don't know where it's coming from, but I just want to give some depth to this image. Is it Jesus? <laughs> I, you know, we're, we're about to find out. We're about to find out. All right. So do I find painting with hands or brushes comfortable? It really depends on the image. For example, this one, I was about to grab brushes to create this and just last second, I decided, I think this calls for uh, my hands. And it just really depends on the image, what I'm creating. Uh, let's do this real quick. I have a question for you. We'll go down here in the comments, whether you're uh, watching this on YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, Periscope, or even over here on Instagram and TikTok. If you're an artist, can you just leave a, a painter emoji down below or a paint emoji? I wanna know how many artists are watching this. So leave a paint emoji below if you're an artist. Let's go down to some of the, uh, so Maria Cabrera said, I love martial arts. Bruce Lee is one of my number one favorite. Jackie Chan, Jet, Jet Li, Chuck Norris, those are great, great examples. Uh, who else? So Artsy, Artsy, 6190 on YouTube said, I'm one of your biggest fans. Thank you for the love. We're gonna answer one more on here. Uh, let's see, any, any questions? So someone said, uh, Tanishk, I can't, I'm not, I'm not sure if I pronounced that right, but is it Conor McGregor? I don't know yet. I mean, we'll find out soon. Oh, really? Yeah. My daughter's friend, Isabel? Let's say hi. Hi, Isabel. Hi, I wish Mia was here. Um, you know, I never set out to actually be inspiration. So I'm sorry, someone asked, how does it feel to be an inspiration to others? I hope that it just inspires you to create. And that's my biggest hope and dream. So I hope that in some way this inspires you to, whether it's creating art, whether it's creating, uh, you know, a, a part of your dreams, whatever it is. That's what I hope out of all this. Okay, so well, I'm not sure if I fully understand that, but we just heard it. Thank you. I think you guys can see what is coming to life here. Add some highlights. We're gonna bring you closer just a little bit as well so you can see this coming to life let's get some white I'm, I know I mentioned this a lot but it's nice to take my time to create for you during these art life live sessions 
I think it's time that we add some detail to the facial hair of this person. Just gonna grab a brush. So I'm getting requests to draw someone's Yorkie Terrier on TikTok. All right, good to know. I will keep that in mind. We get a lot of really interesting requests, by the way. Not only, not just on our, our live sessions, but the emails that we get. Yeah, you can come closer. Uh, again, I've never painted this before, so I'm learning as I go. I'm just putting an undertone for the facial hair. We'll fix it as we go. All right, I think we established that. I have this new color palette that I'm loving. A lot of you guys ask, what paint am I using? And I'm just using uh, interior house paint. Also, the brushes that I use are available on my, uh, it is a link in my bio that says Amazon Art Supplies. You can get the same exact brushes that I use here on these live sessions. You can come closer anytime you want. What, what I like most about this uh, particular image is the shadows that are casted above his eyes. I feel like it makes him look more mysterious. So this is when it becomes who it is. We're going to add uh, some details with black spray paint and a thin cap. And I'm going to need your help for this. If there's a tattoo missing, you let me know. You can come closer for this as well. So I saw this image of his tattoos earlier. I'm going to see if I can remember some of it. Again, the style that I'm painting right now is, uh, you could say it's you know, very impressionistic. So not everything is going to be exactly on point, but it's going to look and feel like who it is, and when you step back, it'll look and feel like who it is. So I'm pretty sure he has McGregor tattooed across his, this like, I don't know what you call that, above the rib cage, the sternum, is that what it is? So I'm kind of just literally scribbling to give an indication <laughs> And I, I do know that there is a lion or a tiger tattoo. All right, so a lot of you are asking for a request. Uh, he also has, so real quick, uh, before I get to that request for tutorials, the tattoos that I'm doing now are based on me setting the image later. There, I can't see anything on here besides just the skin tone, but I'm just, trying to recall some tattoos now. And again, that's what I want to encourage you to be observant as an artist as you create. Any other tattoos? Guys, you gotta let me know if there's any other ones. I'm gonna add a little bit more detail to his beard. All right, and then another important detail. You Come in a little bit. Let's see. So I do know that there's so many different images of martial arts heroes we could have done. This is the first of two. So if you end up having to go away, uh, come back. I'll be doing another one after this. Getting to the point we're gonna throw some paint soon. Let's see.
So how did my parents feel when I became a painter? I feel like I became a, a, a professional artist because of the encouragement of my parents. So naturally they were supportive and excited, you know, that I was making something of my life. Uh, it was a, a very, you know, struggling journey to even get to this point. So, you know, I'm a parent now, so I can relate when they uh, had voiced their level of concern early on. So what was that again? He has tattoos of roses on his left lower arm. Alright, so he has tattoo of roses on his left lower arm. Okay, I'm gonna get that. Thank you for this. See, this is why I love these live sessions. This is now a collaboration between us. Is it on like this right here? This part? Let's just add. Let's just add some lines. All right. So someone uh, asked on Instagram, have I ever thought about being a, a tattoo artist? And no, uh, I haven't because I want to leave it to the true professionals. Where is that blue paint? I'm always, I feel like I'm always missing this blue paint. I just used it the other day. Uh, it's from the wrist to the elbow. Got it. I did get a, uh, I know he has like some sort of knife or something there. So I did get that. All right, this is not gonna work. We're gonna use another color. Let me see if I can find this purple. I'm trying to get more organized with my paint over here. There we go. all this later on. So I'm using one now, but I, I paint with two hands because I don't think about it like I'm using my hands. I think about it like I'm using my whole body to paint. So the way that I move my body and use my left hand and use my right hand as well. So don't think about it like you're using your hands. Think about it like you're gonna adjust your body <laughs> I will tell Mia you said hi. Thank you, Isabel. I'm gonna add some purple down below. There we go. All right, let's throw some paint around. So because he's drawing attention to the upper left, I'm going to throw paint in the same direction so that as it hits the canvas, it will appear as if it's just, and feel like as if it's energy coming off. I'm going to add one more small indication of light hitting his right hand. So we can separate it from his face and create depth all at the same time. All right, let me get a little bit more blue. All right, come on in. We're gonna get one last handprint before we move on to the next painting. Take one last. Okay, take one last look at this Conor McGregor, the first of two martial arts heroes I'm creating on today's theme. Take one last look, we're gonna sit down, do some shout outs, and then I'll be back on here for one more painting. So stay tuned, stay on. Thank you for joining today's live. Thank you so much for uh, watching this. If 
you're wondering how you can support these live sessions, you can always visit the link in my bio. There's a link there that says Merch and Prints. There's always a huge support to support this channel, these platforms, and allows us to create these paintings live. Also, another great way to, to support this channel is to share, to follow, to subscribe. Thank you all so, so much for watching. We've got more, so stay tuned. And keep taking one last look at this painting before, take one last look at this Conor McGregor painting. Before we get into the next one, stay tuned and let's change it in. All right, welcome back. See him back there behind me, calling on the next martial arts hero. So who's he gonna be? You gotta stay tuned. It's gonna be happening in just a few minutes. We're gonna take that canvas down. I'm gonna chat with you just for a little bit. So Jolie Lozano on YouTube said, would love to see Aaliyah and Jet Li painting. I think that would be, both would be awesome. Um, let's see. Oh, so Maria Cabrera is giving me uh, advice on his tattoos. He has a face of a gorilla tattoo at the crown, with a crown starting from his neck. Okay, so there we go. I gotta, that means I gotta work on my Conor McGregor uh, likeness. After this, I'll touch it up with your suggestions. So I appreciate that. Um, shout out to K2 Drippy. What's up back to you on YouTube. Thanks for watching. We've got one more painting happening. You see the, the Conor McGregor coming down right now. I've got one more uh, martial arts hero. And uh, any questions over here? Any comments on TikTok or Instagram? While, while she's searching for that, I just want to thank you all for taking the time to watch this Art Life Live session. Uh, we've been doing this every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Sometimes I do one painting. Days like today, I'm doing two. And uh, you know, no matter what's going on in, in the world, we try 100% to stick to our schedule and come on here and go live with you. So Joseph Vasello on YouTube, thank you for the love. I appreciate it. Um, also, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, do me a huge favor and just hit the subscribe button. It's one of the best ways to support these channels and our, all these lives by hitting the subscribe button. So, um, so. All right, so someone just asked, how did I get into uh, Juice World's music video? Real quick, Roosevelt Winton. Yes, you just missed one painting, we're gonna get to another one. So someone just asked, how did I get into Juice World's video? Uh, to make a long story short, you know, we've had a, I've had a great relationship with someone who's close to them. Uh, we've sent Juice World a painting when he was still with us. And then, you know, a month or so ago, we just started talking to their team about the album coming out. And, you know, uh, it, partly is just great timing and the other part is just put it in God's hands. And so um, I, wish I, could, I wish I could say there was an exact way that it all happened, but it happened very fast to say the least. Yeah, so Maria, yes, yeah, so subscribe, like, and share these videos. So you see the blank canvas behind me. Let's get started in, uh, let's see, one minute. So until then, until we start this next painting behind me, just shout out your city, state, or country. Also, if this is the first time you've ever watched this live session, just comment below and say new. If you're back, say I'm back, just so we can shout you out. So as you guys are letting me know where you're tuning in from, and before we get to the second painting, uh, also do me a huge favor and go to my Instagram, at Garibaldi Arts, um, to go see the most recent post about that new Juicer video. So Mandar is new. Uh, let's see. I think Bloodyard is new. I see Wendy in Springdale, Arkansas. Welcome. Joseph in Dallas, Texas, baby. Uh, all right, we've got a lot of new. I see Todd in Vancouver. Marcus in Little Rock, Arkansas. Marcus, I think you sent me a DM. We had a conversation on this last session about your art and your career. So uh, thanks for, for reaching out about that. I see California. Someone's, uh, Joey is new in San Francisco, Netherlands. Let's see, I see uh, a Juice World fan in Mumbai, India. Welcome. 
someone from Hawaii, Bay Area, Sacktown, Richmond, Virginia, Queens, New York. Where else are you guys tuning in from? All right, Indianapolis, Florida, Uganda. What was that? Russia, is Turkey. Elk Grove, across from my old high school. New Mexico. Eubank, Kentucky. I've been to Kentucky a handful of times. Uh, Niagara Falls, I see you on YouTube in New York. Liverpool, UK. Canada, San Diego. Joseph is in Mars. I wish we could all be there with you, man. Sometimes on this earth, I wish I could be in Mars with you, so. All right, let's get into this next painting. I'm gonna take a quick uh, swig of water. I hope you guys are ready for this next uh, martial arts hero. All right, I see Starry, she's new from Roseville, California. And Helmet, back from Mexico. All right guys, let's get into this next painting, number two of martial arts heroes, and we're gonna start this. So, all together, wherever you are in the world, let's say it together, let's paint. Oh, do we? Oh, we are, oh, thank God. <laughs> I was supposed to go back. So, I'm sorry, I messed up the controls. We're not going anywhere, we're staying. I've got one more painting for you. Thank you, Ray, for saving that because it would have logged off. So, <laughs> but either way, thank you for watching. All right. Woo, got another one for you. Let's, let's start over here. Let's start, let's start with the same color tone. I'm gonna use my hands. I used my hands on the last painting. Uh, some of you were asking, how do I choose if I'm gonna use my hands or brushes? And it really just depends on the feel that I wanna give these paintings. I want this one to feel very much alive. So I wanna put my human touch, literally, on this one. What's that? What? Oh, yeah, yeah. You watching that? Sorry, I'm, I'm having inside jokes right now. You guys just get to hear me. All right, so uh, leave your questions below in the comments. We're gonna do our best to answer them. Also, I will read them live at certain parts of this video. This is probably gonna be one of my favorite paintings that we've done here on Art Life Live. So where do I get my flow from? You mean just like a creative artistic flow? Oh, the music. Yeah, I mean, yeah, my, my, my pace that I paint at, how I move. Some people make fun of it because I move my legs and, and my body, but there's music on and that's creating the flow of how I paint on canvas. And so it's what works for me, it's what I love. What do I love to draw? I love to draw human figures. The, the human figure to me is so fascinating. It's made up of so many curves and angles and it's one of the biggest challenges to paint and to create. So I love it for that reason because painting the human figure is a great challenge to I think any artist. Uh, I just, I love, I love challenges so. So how did I sharpen my skills? The best way I sharpened my skills was just painting over and over and over and over again. There's no way to get around it. There's no, to be honest, there's books you could read and videos you can watch to inspire you, but nothing will give you the true knowledge unless you experience it. So go out there and create.
So I'm pretty sure some of you can see this starting to come to life. But I still love to hear your suggestions. If you're watching this later on Instagram, you probably see it up above in the description already. But if you're watching this live, leave your guesses. So what paints do I use? I use latex house paint. And I've used airbrush a long time ago. I just don't think that it would be, uh, I don't know, as, as effective in, at the speed that I paint. I feel like, uh, you know, latex paint works well because it's something that's such in the moment. And uh, there's a lot of, you gotta change a lot of things doing uh, airbrush. But I think it's cool. I think if you're into it, that's awesome. Do I ever get artist blog? I get it all the time. But what I do to get out of it is I just start creating. I maybe create something that I've done before because I know what it feels like. Um, I listen to music that I love because that's usually what ha inspires me in the first place, which is why how I move and how I paint. So when I get blocks, I create. Uh, when I get blocks, I remind myself that what I'm painting is going to be one of hundreds more I'm going to paint this year. And not to get hung up on just this one moment, but to realize that I have, you know, a duty to my creativity to put it to work and to not let negative thoughts uh, keep me from doing what I enjoy. So how often do I mess up? All the time. I always joke around in life <laughs> and what I'm painting, but I don't know. I don't really look at it like I'm, I'm messing up. I look at it like I'm learning. I look at it like it's a, it's a you know, this thing is being created in a moment. Also, when you look at it like you're messing up, you're already discounting the fact that you're trying to convince yourself that you can't fix it. And, you can. Every time I mess up, I do my best to fix, to learn from it and then fix it. So what do I paint under blue light? Um, one, I, I like the mood. The mood is, it's a, it's a vibe. But uh, it also helps with differentiating to me, what, like one, if I'm on stage, but two, differentiating between different colors that I'm using and also the colors on the canvas as well. It's just something that I enjoy. All right, let's leave that there. I'm gonna wash my hands down here and read some of the comments that are coming in. So Marcus asked, how do you determine your proportions so quickly? So part of that comes from planning that I do before I paint. So before you create, do as much planning as you can, whatever that is for you. Uh, but I plan as much as I can before I hit that canvas. Uh, Matei on YouTube asked, how do you choose where, you're, uh, where you start the painting? And that just depends on, well actually, I'll say this. I start because I think about how are you gonna see this? How is it gonna come to life? And I wanna leave the, you'll see the figure, but I want to leave the portrait last. So I start working on the figure, the hands, the body first, and then leave the rest of mystery for you. Um, thank you, uh, Deidre, on Facebook for watching. Thank you for the love. I'm going to read one more. Roosevelt Winton. Good guess. Good guess, Roosevelt Winton. I think you may be right. We'll see. Oh, is it cold? It is. It's freezing. We have like the best AC in here and I feel amazing right now. Let's see. I know, I feel like that was kind of like a shot, you know, like a, little, a little jab, but it feels amazing. I'm so grateful. So I, I've had studios for the past 17 years in my career. My first studio was a one car garage. Actually, my first studio didn't exist. And then my second studio was a one car garage for many years. And then I had a, um, a warehouse that didn't have any uh, AC in there, but it was a space I was grateful for. We kept moving it from warehouse to warehouse. This is the first one in my 17 year career that we actually had air conditioning inside. So I'm 
beyond grateful for just where we get to create and uh, where this has been able to take us. All right. I'm gonna mix, I'm gonna put some highlights on this body. I'm using a brush now because I need this part to be more defined than anything I had painted before. When I was thinking about doing this uh, painting, I had envisioned this moment of painting these hands right here. Um, I, I envisioned like this, this feels like deja vu. This is crazy. So what's my favorite color? My favorite color to wear is black. My favorite color to paint with is like a, a UV red. It's like, we call it infrared. It's one of my favorite colors. Just something that it does to, to my eyes. It stands out from all the other colors in the world. My favorite painting is always my next painting. So right now, this is my favorite one. The last two that I've done. But I love, I love just creating everything. So someone's uh, sending some guesses right now on, on one of our channels. You, you may be right. This is probably this is actually probably one of my favorite ones for the moment. Yeah, I think Chadi already put a bid in on this, guys. Let me just define a little bit more on the body, and then we'll move on to the portrait. So the, the reason why these paintings are fun to do is because it's a mixture of figure and portrait. And I usually do large scale portraits, which is hard enough on its own, but this is an extra challenge to capture the, uh, the likeness of this person. So I'm just adding some highlights. We go back here. We're gonna leave that there. Let's add the infamous. I think this is, I think this is red. Yeah. Yes, that's a great question. So someone asked, can I tell you a story about my journey? And let me get some paint on my hands and I'm gonna share a quick, a quick story with you guys. So when I was about 14 or 15 years old, growing up in Sacramento, California, which has been my home most of my life, uh, there was one night where I was out doing graffiti with some friends. And at the time I was very much into graffiti. And you can find me painting on anything standing up, trains, walls, you know, just anything I did not own, I was painting on. But there was one night in particular where, you know, we were out painting and there was this, we heard the, the sirens and saw the lights in the distance. And it was a police officer that saw us painting and now it just became a foot race between the officer and us. And then there was this eight foot stone wall between two very different scenarios, one going home with the police officer, the other making it on the other side of this wall and hopefully having a chance to make some new decisions. Well, I made it over this wall and you know, right after that I realized that I, had, I now had a chance to make new decisions. And from that point on, I just started wanting to see the world differently. I realized that I love to create, but I don't want to pay that type of ultimate price to do what I love. And so that's 
when shortly after that, I met my high school animation teacher, Sean Sullivan. So I was in high school and uh, I remember him asking me, he's like, David, you know, do you want to pay to do what you love or do you want to get paid? And it was a very simple question, easy to answer. But when I look back on it and I really understand now what he was saying was, you know, getting paid isn't necessarily just monetary. Uh, getting paid the gratification of, you know, putting a hard day of work in the studio and you know, touching people and, and, and reaching people around the world. And so I took his advice back then and as, as a young artist and it completely changed my life. And that mentor, Sean Sullivan, who is my high school animation teacher, we went on to start a nonprofit a few years ago called Creator X. And the goal of Creator X was to uh, inspire young creators, to multiply creators throughout the world through, um, you know, not only inspiration, but also education as well in arts, media, entertainment. So, um, you know, and I, I share this story because I don't know who's in your life. I don't know who's, who are your influences, but I think you should take into account the people that are influencing in your life because at the time I could have easily been influenced by the people I was painting with. Instead, I went with this educator, this teacher who cared about me and uh, because of him, it changed the direction of my life. Yeah. So if you're having, if you're watching this on TikTok or Instagram, go to the link in my bio. It says watch live stream. You can watch all of this in HD and uh, better sound, better quality all around. So you guys can see what is coming to life on this canvas. You can kind of see who it is. More will be revealed as it comes to life. Just getting these little details. These are the details that I do on large scale portraits, but now I'm doing them just a little bit smaller, taking my time just a little bit to get it done. You can also keep your questions coming as well. There's a, a, a control that you get using your hands and your fingers that you really don't get using uh, a brush. You know, there's a pressure that you can apply that a brush would kind of take away the detail as you apply pressure with that. So I, I would just suggest anyone out there that wants to try something new, um, try washing clothes. So do I wash my clothes after I work? Uh, they should be washed, but then. <laughs> But we, we hand wash it. I can't wait to bring you guys closer to see this later, to see the detail in this. You know, these paintings aren't always about just getting them done fast. It's about getting a feel, but also capturing uh, as much of the likeness as we can on this person. But I think we're gonna have to keep this, this portrait. I, like, I know you like this one too. Yeah, I'm talking to Chadi. She's on the other side of the... Yeah. So how do I decide what I'm gonna paint? What or who? Well, today's paintings were decided by you. I asked you for suggestions on our last Art Life Live sessions. One of you or all, a lot of you suggested martial arts heroes. And here we are today. Other times I choose them just based on what's going on in the world, what am I inspired by, what I hope would inspire you as well. Oh yeah. Yeah, that, 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 <laughs> that camera woman though. So the eyes, I haven't put the eyes on yet, but I feel like that's gonna make this whole thing 
pop. All right, I'm gonna wipe my hands real quick just because I'm getting too much of one color that I don't want yet. I wanna go. So, so they asked, what was it like paying for the Juice World videos? Uh, you know, it's, it was an honor. It's, I hope you guys get a chance to go see the first two that came out. And uh, you could say we got some more, but we got some more projects on the way. All right, I'm gonna take a quick second to answer your questions down below here on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch. Um, let's see, so Magdalena on Facebook said, yes, Bruce Lee all the way. You see him right there behind me. Let's see, I'm gonna read some more questions below. So uh, someone asked, do you, do you, have you ever considered painting nude figures? Um, actually, when I first started drawing and coming up in my career, I would go to figure drawing classes, and that's actually where I learned a lot how to do these type of figures, was drawing nude figures. So figure drawing classes are the best training you can get as an artist. So Glenn's mom said, uh, kudos to your teacher, Mr. Sullivan. Yes, big thank you to him for changing my life. Um, Let's see, let me, let me answer one more question before we finish off this painting. Uh, let's see. Oh, so Maria asks, who was my first painting of? And I think my first painting that I ever did was of a piano player when I was painting live, but also when I started doing this style of painting on canvas, I believe the first person was Jimi Hendrix. So have I ever painted a significant other? Have I done a portrait of you? I haven't, I kind of did a, a portrait of you. Yeah, I mean, I've done portraits of a lot of different people in my life, for sure. All right, this is, my favorite part right here. I'm gonna grab a smaller brush and we can come in closer for this. I'm gonna add a gray first because I wanna add a little bit of shadow when we put the white of the eye in. Let me go get the white. Oh, don't fall. I'm gonna get the white now. Gonna go lower on the on the eye. All right, there we go. It's coming to life. Let's get that uh, that same purple that we used on the back of the last painting of Conor McGregor. Hopefully, I have some left. Let me see if I have any more over here. I think I have another purple. Let's, let's throw some paint right now. What do you do after all 
So what do I do after all the paintings? I definitely take a shower, clean up. But uh, you know what? We move on to the next project. One thing I, I try my best to do is to not sit and you know, think too much about what I just created. We just move on to the next. But I think today we're gonna, we're gonna eat after today's painting. <laughs> that's, what we're, that's what we're gonna do. Yeah, so actually, so yeah, so we do photograph every painting, we archive it, we put it in our um, inventory, and also it goes live on my website uh, at garibaldiarts.com forward slash gallery. All right, I think we're done, guys. What do you think? Let me know below. We're gonna do some shout outs. We add a little. All right, we're all done with this one. Watch this step right there. <laughs> Come in for just one last. Take one last look at Bruce Lee, uh, one of the greatest uh, martial artists who brought martial arts to the masses. And uh, the one, the painting I did just before this was of Conor McGregor. And we're gonna put them side by side before we sign off. But for now, take one last look at Bruce Lee and thank you for watching Art Life Live. I think we're gonna keep this one. Uh, thank you so much for watching Art Life Live today. We go live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Uh, if you're ever wondering how you support these lives and how you, you know, help us produce these and keep these going, there is a link in my bio on all my platforms and there's a link that says prints and merch. It's the online store from my uh, website and all those prints go to support these live sessions. Also, the, no, another way you can support these lives is to subscribe, like, follow, and most importantly, share. All right, take one last look at Bruce Lee. Look at him there, he's ready to go. All right, and we're gonna go. Welcome back. We're gonna do this. Well, before we sign off, I'm gonna have Ray go put those side by side because I wanna see the Conor McGregor facing off with Bruce Lee. So we're gonna see what that looks like. Um, maybe we can just put them over there on that side. Yeah. And then we'll just move the lights back there. Cool, so before we get that next painting up, uh, I just wanna do some shout outs real quick. So M Drizzy, thank you for the love on Twitter, Periscope, appreciate that. Uh, Maria asked, after you're done with the paintings, do you put them up for sale? Yes, so we photograph them, we inventory them, and then we put them in our online uh, inventory and archive, and then they also go live on our website at the same time. So artists out there, do me a huge favor and um, archive your work. You may not think it's significant right now, but as you grow, and I hope and I pray that you do, as you grow, you're going to want to have all of these images of your paintings, you know, in a Dropbox or accessible in the future because you may, you need some artwork to license as a revenue stream or to create prints as another revenue stream. And you can only do that uh, when you have them there. So Yancey uh, was asking, where is the website? Visit GaribaldiArts.com. If you want to see these paintings, go to GaribaldiArts.com forward slash gallery and uh, that's where you can see all these paintings as soon as we're done we put them up live there you guys can see oh i got some painting over there <laughs> uh you guys see ray he's putting up the conor mcgregor we're going to show you uh the painting side by side maybe with that camera before we sign off in a little bit so um i think he are you out of staples okay he's he's not struggling guys he's He's, he's okay back there. How's your day going? <laughs> uh, another big announcement, those of you that may be just joining us, earlier we announced that uh, the new Juice World video for Hate the Other Side is out. Uh, we helped create that along with director Ricky Yi and creative director Nicole Sepulveda. Um, and also big thank you to uh, Pete and Lil Bibby, his uh, Juice World's management for just believing in those projects and putting those out as visualizers that hopefully 
um, are inspiring to Juice World's fans. So I've always been a fan of Juice World. We sent him a painting uh, a long time ago, a couple years ago. Um, and so he had one while he was still with us and uh, just appreciate the fact that we get to create, you know, with him in spirit. So I'm gonna read some of these other comments as we're getting that other painting up soon. Uh, let's see. So someone's asking, you know, can their, can their kids uh, send me a DM to ask questions about art? You know, if, if any of you have questions about art, I will do my best to get back in my DMs. Uh, it's hard for me to keep up with them all, but please send a request, send, uh, you know, your questions there and I'll do my best. Honestly, the best way to ask questions in real time are these live sessions. So uh, you can leave your question down below. Uh, so Starry said, love your paintings at Makuni restaurants. So uh, Makuni's is a sushi chain of restaurants here in Sacramento. It's the best sushi in the world. I've traveled the world. I've had sushi in Japan, which is amazing there. But Makuni sushi is my absolute favorite around the world. See them, they're going up back there. We're gonna show you this side by side. I can't wait. Um, let's see. Also, uh, can we check in with them on TikTok and Instagram? How are we doing over here? We're gonna show you guys. So Barbados. Oh, so they're upset that their notifications didn't work. I don't know if some of you have put your notifications on so that when I go live, you get alerted. If you haven't, definitely do it so that you never miss uh, another Art Life Live session. Okay, so Craig was asking, what do we do with the paintings from the Juice World videos? We are sending, so the last, the one that just came out today, Hate the Other Side, has um, obviously Juice World, Marshmallow, Polo G, and the Kid Leroy. We're sending the paintings to them. The other ones uh, we're sending to his team, and we've, we've got some special plans for them, but uh, they're not available for sale, so. So they're asking a request, can I do Daft Punk? Oh yeah, let's do this. Now that we're getting requests, what should we do for the next Art Life Live session? Leave your suggestion down below in the comments. I got one right now for Daft Punk, which is a great suggestion. What should we do for the next Art Life Live theme? You guys chose the martial arts heroes today. What's the next one? What should our theme be? Military women, Vanessa Gillian. Military women, Vanessa Gillian. That's a suggestion for the next Art Life session. What do you guys think? What should we create? Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo is a suggestion. Okay. We're, we're trying to, so, what, so Jolie Lozano said Tupac. I was actually gonna do Tupac Monday, but maybe we'll do it Friday. So someone said Triple X. Mandar said Marvel character. Eva said Marvel heroes. We've done some Marvel heroes in the past. Wendy, um, Wendy said Prince. Uh, I got two prints suggestions. Dennis Someone said Dennis Rodman. <laughs> uh, yeah, Marcus, we're not gonna do that one. <laughs> uh, Roosevelt Wynn said black leaders. Who else? Native American heroes. What, uh, what are some other? So I, I, I've seen a lot of prints. Someone said I should do uh, WWE wrestlers. Oh, we got the paintings up back there. You're Ray killing it back there. Any other suggestions for the next Art Life Live theme? Oh, Triple X Extension. What do you guys think? Someone said The Rock? Queen? Should we? All right, so Triple X. I see The Rock, Will Smith. I feel like The Rock and Will Smith are like the new king, kings of the internet. Someone said Queen also over here. Messy, a lot of different suggestions. Prince over there as well. All right, are we ready to, to show them? We're gonna adjust the lights, kind of adjusted. All right, we're gonna sign off, but before that, why don't you go ahead and take them over there so that we can give them a live feed when, when we sign off. So when you're in place, we're gonna do this. I wanna show you these two paintings behind me uh, of our martial arts heroes that you suggested that we do the last Art Life Live. So we're asking for your suggestions right now for the next one. We'll be up Friday around 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, between 1 and 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Set your notifications on. 
If you're on YouTube, hit the subscribe button, uh, like this video, share it if you can, and, uh, and we will do another Art Life Live session this Friday. All right, time to sign off. Before I do, I just wanna encourage all of you to do everything with paint. Passion, action, intent, new and to teach. And with those principles and that foundation, you can create and do anything in this world. Um, always lead everything with your heart and uh, don't hesitate when it comes to your creative habits and creative ideas. My name is David Garibaldi and thank you so, so much for watching Art Life Live. Take one last look at our martial arts heroes. You can go closer. That's good. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Thank you for the suggestion of doing the martial arts heroes, Conor McGregor challenging Bruce Lee. Thank you for the love today. Be sure to like, follow, hit, if you're watching this on YouTube, hit subscribe. All right, thank you guys so, so much. Thank you for watching. I'm David Garibaldi. This is, this was Art Life Live. Peace.